How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, what I'm gonna be doing is an outer sleeve in the next two days. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. I'm going to be meeting my client for breakfast so we can discuss the concept that we're gonna be doing so we can make sure we're on the same page. Uh, my name is Mike Lloyd. I'm a college student right now. I'm coming from Elk Grove, California, which is a town a little bit south of Sacramento, California. You nervous? Excited? Nervous. Both. Nervous. Both. 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 <laughs> is this your is this your first tattoo? Uh, I mean, yeah. I got this. But oh, it's you got okay. Like, this is like my first wow. Tattoo. Can I see the white on that? Yeah. How long ago did you get that done? Uh, about two years ago. Ooh, I'm gonna take advantage. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna put a whole bunch of white on you. <laughs> uh, oh, those are some big fries, my dude. Oh, thank you. So I know you wanted the half sleeve, right? Yeah. You didn't want to go to the top yet. Well, it really all depends. Yeah. Okay. The, uh, that picture I sent you with like the Spartan Warrior. Okay. I was thinking about getting that, but I just when I thought about it more, I was like, I don't really want it. Mm. Like, I definitely be open to go on top. Okay. And then I've also I'm open for anything. Honestly. Okay. For me, it's just more appealing to do from here up here, and yeah. it just looks amazing way way better way better uh -huh. because then that sets you up for completing the inner yeah. in the future you know uh -huh. regardless if you come back to me or somewhere else i'm gonna set it up to connect it so you can uh, have a dope ass sleeve yeah, you know exactly. regardless of what route we take mm -hmm. they're gonna look amazing yeah. no matter what the consultation was good i met uh kevin and his boy marco and then we ate breakfast and then we chopped it up talked about life it was more than just a normal consultation. He actually wants to get to know you. He was just like the videos, just energetic, positive vibes all around. Just made me more comfortable. The consultation was successful. I really love what we came up with and I honestly cannot wait to start this project. After talking to my client during the consultation, I found out that he is 20 years old, going to college, he has his job, and he purchased his ticket to travel over here to get a whole project done by me. I don't even know him, but somehow I'm really proud of him. When I was 20 years old, I was trying to figure out how to pay rent. <laughs> man, I'm, I'm super proud of you, man. Keep killing it. Day one, I'm going to be doing the top of the sleeve first, just so I can navigate way better. So that way on second day, he's not in pain. How are you feeling? Hi, for real. Ooh. Have a seat. To your throne for the next two days. Yes, sir. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. Are you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. Like I'm so hyped. You're gonna show up uh, to college looking yeah, fresh yeah. as fuck. <laughs> I decided to put Alice on the top of the arm just because I knew it was going to flow better with the sleeve. It was going to look aesthetically pleasing and I was going to cap it off on the top with some filigree. Mm. Like it was my first big piece so I was really nervous but also it was something I really wanted and me and Kevin we came together and formed a great like stencil so I was really excited as well. That looks super dope, bro. That looks amazing. I'm going to have you check it out in the mirror, though. Don't let my excitement cloud your judgment. When I put on the stencil, I automatically knew this is going to be a great project. It fit the placement, and I haven't even started, and I already liked the way it was going to turn out. As soon as I started tattooing, I started with my 11 curve mag with the voltage of 5.0 but it was giving me such a soft look and that's not the look that I was going for. I wanted to make it look like stone. So I switched to my 14 round liner with a voltage of a 5.0 and as soon as I started executing that texture, I was like, you know what, this is it. Like this is the look that I'm looking for.
When I was stenciling the beer, I realized that it was a little confusing for me because it didn't have any flow to it. So what I did is I just stenciled the most basic things of that beer because I knew I was gonna freehand most of it. The reason why I thought this was the best approach it is because I have control over the contrast, the highlights, and the texture on that beer. So I knew that if I did that, it was gonna give me a better outcome. I got nightmares in my head, I fear Let the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Anxiety, filling up every space, no privacy uh, And silently, it could build and build until you finally see Whoa, it's taking over, damn no closure, moving closer no exposure, I just wanna be a loner uh, Some can't stay sober, looking over all their shoulders Like moving boulders just to get out of the home It sucks, I've had enough, I don't wanna feel the stuck Under the rug, all my problems that I shove I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real, anxiety can foggy all this stuff I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real, anxiety can foggy yeah. all this stuff it sucks when you finally feel like giving up Oh God, no luck Everything feels like you're sticky stuck I'm lost, handcuffed To the bed where I sleep, don't give a fuck Can't stop, unplug Feeling overwhelmed, I think I've had enough uh, Gotta find a way to get some energy Gotta find someone who's a good friend of me I need purpose to make it all worth it I'm still searching and I'm still learning I want a life that's filled with memories Not a life with a grand in front of me I need focus to keep me from hopeless Psychosis if I keep moping I got nightmares in my head, I feel that the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real, anxiety can foggy all this stuff I've been feeling weird, I can't seem to focus good enough Nothing's really clear, sometimes it could be a little tough I just need to feel like the end's in sight for me But let's be really real, anxiety can foggy all this stuff Doing that here is honestly one of those things that when I started doing it, I said I'm just gonna go with the flow because if I add too much shading to the hair, it was gonna lose the highlight on top of the hair. But if I did it not enough, it was gonna look super empty and unfinished. So I took my time, I started adding little textures here and there. I stepped back, looked at it, and I was like, okay, that's looking nice, but I can add a little bit more. I added a, a two more little details, stepped back, and I was like, all right, that's looking way better. The hardest part was definitely just the amount of hours on the chair because my only other tattoo only took about an hour, hour 15, so I think this one took about 11 hours to give or take, so it was a tough one, but I'm excited for tomorrow. The 
end of day one, he was definitely hurting towards the end just because it was a long session. It was definitely a super long session, but I was navigating with it. I was asking him, how are you feeling? And uh, he was just sitting like a rock, but he did tell me he was hurting. No, he barely got up all day. I was telling him, take a break. He's like, got it. Oh! Ah! I'm excited for today because man, the, the project, the way it turned out, it just looks so sick. I'm excited for day two. The way the top turned out set me up perfectly for day two. Perfect. Uh. Pronto tienes que volver. That's the one. That's the one. Good. I gotta be it right there. That's perfect. I'm gonna have you relax your arm for me. Mm. For the bottom, I'm gonna be doing a lion. And on the middle of that elbow, I did add a little filigree just so I can connect both pieces. Both pieces. I didn't want the two projects to just go. I wanted it to be a nice transition between the two pieces. The skin complexion is so bright that I wanted to take advantage, but I also didn't want to make it seem like I was uh, simplifying the concept either. So what I did is I grabbed my medium gray and I started doing little textures, the hair, the fur, separated, and then I would step back and I would look and if I see I needed it, if I needed more. And I kept doing that, I kept taking my time, I kept stepping back just to make sure I was adding just enough to make it look like there was a whole bunch of fur, but also keeping in mind the highlights of that lion. What I'm using for the nose, it is a nine round liner bug pin. I'm taking my time adding the fur and I'm mapping it out before I commit to just go all in and make it way darker. As I'm watching the footage back, I realized that me doing that fur looks very suspicious. <laughs> it looks like I'm not packing in the lights, but I really am. It looks like I'm barely touching the skin, but I'm really not. I gotta, I gotta fix my camera. I'm really excited the way it turned out. I'm just super happy with the outcome. My client sat like a rock the, the whole two days. It was just good advice for two days straight. I'm really happy that he's going back to college looking super sharp. He's definitely going to stand out. Thank you so much for coming back and watching this new video. I really appreciate you.
So with that being said, if you're a tattoo artist, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're a tattoo enthusiast, I hope you were entertained. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.